Michel Barnier has warned the European Union will be fundamentally weakened by Britain now it has quit the bloc. But the Brussels diplomat urged EU states to not feel sorry for themselves as they attempt to bounce back from the split. In a downbeat interview, he said the bloc would have to come to terms with the divorce quickly and move on to ensure Britain doesn't become a competitive rival. Mr. Barnier said Brussels would be to be vigilant to whether number 10 decides to undercut European standards in order to provide a competitive edge for the country's companies. He insisted it would not make the bloc's life easier now its most Eurosceptic nation has left. I am often asked this question. It could be that some things will become easier in the EU if the British are no longer involved, but that doesn't necessarily have to be the case, Mr. Barnier said. I am convinced that Brexit will fundamentally weaken us. It's always better to do something together. I realize that there are differences, but it would have been better if we had stayed united. The EU27 must now look to the future together and the question of what if the British were still here, no longer arises. They are not anymore. The future is more important than Brexit. Despite the concerns, Mr. Barnier claimed that a number of Boris Johnson's negotiating tactics had helped bring the bloc closer together. The Frenchman said the Prime Minister's no-deal Brexit threats during the divorce talks and the internal market bill, which threatened to rip up that treaty, were difficult moments for the EU. Mr. Barnier said, there were many difficult moments in the talks with Great Britain. In 2018, for example, when the British Parliament failed to ratify the agreement that Theresa May had negotiated. Then came Boris Johnson. In November 2020, when Johnson and Commission President Ursula von der Leyen met, everything looked like there would be no deal. For me, the most difficult moment was the UK Internal Market Act. With the clear intention of violating a contract that they themselves signed. After that, the EU27 moved closer together. And there was a new president on the horizon in the US who was very concerned. Speaking of his UK counterparts across the negotiating table, Mr. Barnier said he respected them but questioned their loyalty to Northern Ireland. The only thing I didn't understand was the risks they were taking, with Northern Ireland for example, he said. 